I am Ferdinand Marcos, and I am the President of the Republic of the Philippines. I stand today on behalf of 110 million Filipinos. Hello people, hello words, and hello Philippines. It's me again guys. Let's talk vlog. Shout out sa lahat ng mga Pilipino sa buong daigdig. May upload videos tayo sa inyong mga kababayan. Nako po! Ito po guys ha. Hmm. Pinaghandaan na. No? Ay ika nga, pinaghanda na ni Pangulong Marcos Jr. ang ating mga kasundaluan sa anumang mangyaring kaguluhan sa mundo. Hmm. Ika nga guys ha. Ang kanyang talumpati ay niya kanyang mungkahi. Yan guys ay uh, kung paalala lang na dapat lagi tayong handa sa anuman mga sakuna na mangyayari sa mga panahon na darating. No? Uh, hindi naman guys na sinasabi niya ay tayo'y sugo, susugo din. Hindi, ikaw nga pinapa, kumbaga, pinapahanda lang po ang ating uh, sandatahang lakas. No? Di, alam po natin ang isyo sa Western Philippines eh. Kahit maliit naman tayong bansa ay eh, kaya po natin lumaban sa totoo lang. No? Hindi po tayo ma... ma ano, atras sa anumang labanan so kailangan natin lumaban ako ay, kung gusto kung pwede na lalaban ako why not di ba mm. basta turuan lang ako maghawak ng baril abah lalaban ko at ipaglalaban ko yung bansa ko ito guys yung uh, speech ng ating mahal na pangulo during oath taking yan ceremony ng uh, mga kasundaluan ika nga uh, promote ang uh, mapopromote ang ibang mga generals ha mm, ng EFP oh nakita niyo mga yan mm. so dahil dito guys no sa mga issue diyan sa Western Philippines eh, na kikita at naririnig natin mm, na napanood po natin itong mga mga nangyayari in the past days yung katulad diyan sa pagbangga ng ating mga boat uh, Philippine uh, Coast Guard boat no So, hindi po maganda yun. Ika nga, eh, parang uh, minamaliit po tayo. Eh, kahit maliit na bansa tayo, lalaban tayo hanggang sa dulo, mga kababayan. Kaya ang Pangulo natin, may pinapaalala at may pinapaghanda ang ating mga sandatang lakas ha, sa anumang mga mangyayari sa mga darating na panahon. Eh, hindi naman tayo susugod. Eh, wala sa atin ang gusto lang natin kapayapaan. So, pakinggan nyo guys, itong kanyang mungkahi para sa pangkalahatan. Na lagi tayong handa sa anumang uh, klasing sakuna, no? Ay ayaw nating uh, uh, sa kopi, ayaw natin sa kopin na kahit sino. Eh alam nyo guys ha, mayroon po tayong lahing mandirigma. Alam nyo po 'yan. So ganun pa man guys, bago niyo panoorin or pakinggan ang kanyang talumpati, don't forget to like see the button bell. And para laging update sa aking mga upload videos. Ito na po ang kanyang mungkahi. Bye bye bye. Babus. Secretary uh... Uh, Lucas uh, Bersamin, the National Defense Secretary, Gilbert uh, Chidoro, the other members of the cabinet present, the AFP Chief of Staff, General Romeo Browner Jr., and the major service commanders, the newly promoted officers of the armed forces of the Philippines, fellow workers in government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, I should add, the families of our newly promoted officers. Good afternoon. Allow me to extend, first of all, my uh, warmest congratulations to all the newly promoted senior officers of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, including our AFP Chief of Staff, General Romy Browner. I wish all of you the best as you embark on this new chapter in your respective careers. As you now prepare yourselves for the myriad challenges that lie ahead, let us all take pause and be reminded that coupled with these promotions are greater responsibilities and duties. These will strain and test the metal of your character, integrity, loyalty, and professionalism in the fulfillment of your sacred duty of protecting and defending our people and our nation. I, along with the nation, expect all of you to perform your duty with strength of character and utmost integrity, loyalty, and professionalism, qualities fundamental and core to the service as officers in our nation's armed service. I place emphasis on this at the outset in light of the continuing changes and emerging developments in our nation's evolving security landscape. Your new positions and ranks shall place you at the forefront, both from
familiar and new and novel defense and security challenges that we now face. You must not only anticipate, but you must also be ready to adapt and respond to emerging national security and defense realities that exist in our country and in our region. While it is noteworthy that we see positive and encouraging developments in terms of our internal security situation, there remains much to be done. We must maintain our vigilance and guard against those actors, whatever nature or form they may take, who would threaten and jeopardize the peace we have striven and fought for all these many years. So I enjoin you to help ensure that the communities once beset by conflict are benefiting and continue to benefit from the gains of peace and our numerous development interventions. For the progress of our nation and the welfare of our people are underpinned by the peace and the stability, the security of our communities. As the new leaders of our AFP, you are expected to help ensure that the armed forces will be more agile flexible and responsive to better address emerging issues confronting our nation. We must be ready. Our armed, forces, our armed forces must be capable of securing and defending the archipelago from emerging threats. I urge you to further enhance joint planning and operations to ensure interoperability across all AFP units and platforms, sustain and foster greater collaboration with other government agencies and civil society groups, harnessing their respective knowledge, specializations, and technical expertise in coming up with innovative, effective, efficient solutions to the challenges that stand in the way of achieving peace and unity. As I acknowledge your well-deserved promotions and patriotic service, I also express my gratitude on behalf of our people and the nation to your families and loved ones who have shared the burden of your service. I am grateful for their selflessness and sacrifice to support you in your career and the performance of your duty for the Philippines. Be assured of this administration's unshakable commitment to their protection and their welfare, just as we in turn commit to ensure that all of you are provided with the necessary tools to perform your tasks and duties in the fulfillment of your service to our nation and our people. Join me now and our nation as we together march forward in unison towards that future that is filled with hope and pride and unbound opportunities for all Filipinos. Once again, congratulations to the newly promoted generals and flag officers of our armed forces Mabuhay ang sandatahang lakas ng Pilipinas. Mabuhay ang bagong Pilipinas. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat at magandang hapon po sa inyo. Thank you. To, so, yun guys, narinig nyo. But anyway guys, maraming salamat po sa inyo. See you again guys on my next upload video. 